Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder. Welcome back to the full Let's Play of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty on Brutal Difficulty. Last time we left off, we had to defend our base against an onslaught of Zerg until we had killed 2,500 Zerg. And then afterwards, we defended until the last Protoss fell. We did manage to take out the Omega Lisk. Uh, I didn't see a feat of strength for it, so I don't know if there is one, but we took it down anyway. Uh, afterwards, everyone died. That's how the mission ended. But it was a win, so I'm going to take it for what it's worth. All right, let's see what Rainer has to say about this new revelation. As long as it does not crash, don't crash. I am trying to upload and record at the same time, so this may not work. I don't know if they interfere with each other, but I don't know. StarCraft 2 is always online, so maybe it will, maybe it won't. Well, looks like we are not... Oh, there it goes. Alright, sorry about that. Now, through all these Protoss missions, we've gotten an, a lot of both Protoss and Zerg research. So, um, it's a good idea to do these as soon as you get them. Um, just for the research alone. It'll also help you get credits faster once you max out both research trees. You will get, um, for every Protoss research point above max you get, you will receive 10,000 credits, and that goes the same for the Zerg. This last mission, we did not actually get the Protoss research, because I didn't defend their little library project. Alright, what do you have to say, Jim Rayner? Queen of Blades will prevent the destruction of all that we know. Raynor, you may soon hold Kerrigan's fate in your hands. I know only that she must live. Be wary, old friend. The hounds of the void are on the hunt. Not sure what that is supposed to mean. Let's see what Tosh has to say about it. We have new research. Actually, that's the final Zerg research. Damn, brother. You look like you could use a drink. I saw the last vision Zeratul put into the crystal. It was a look into the future final battle against the hybrid Armageddon somehow Kerrigan's the key to preventing it who knows how the wheel turns cycles upon cycles this much I know those that see the future best take heed it's both a gift and a curse but is it cast in stone that's what I need to know who knows? I've heard you say we are who we choose to be. If that be true, the future cannot be fixed. Hmm. Uh, Tychus doesn't have anything You're to say. You're looking a little pale there, Jimmy. What you need is another drink. You can actually talk to all these guys, too. They don't really have anything Working. to say. Drink it. Is that smell me, or did the emotion beer go bad? <laughs> Alright, let's 
go to the lab. I wonder what happens if we click on this again. Uh, I've never read this before. In the fullness of time, the cycle shall draw to its end. The Zelnaga who forged the stars will transcend their creation. Yet the fallen one shall remain, destined to cover the void in shadow. Before the stars wake from their celestial courses, he shall break the cycle of the gods, devouring all light and hope. It begins with the great hungerer, the Yulan Prophecy. I don't suppose you could give me a sample of your brain tissue for study <laughs> purposes. Wouldn't that kill him? Alright, here's the last one. And let's see what we have here. Mr. Rayner, you have obviously reached the limit of what you can learn from Zerg biosamples. We would be happy to purchase any future samples you find for 10,000 credits per sample. Check this console if you find any further biosamples and the funds will be instantly wired to your account. Dr. Narud. Alright, these are both pretty good. Hive Mind Emulator. Defensive structure can permanently mind control units. Zerg units, that is. Really good. Especially for a certain mission. And then the side disruptor. Defensive structure slows movement and attack speed of nearby Zerg. It's a constant effect. Now, normally I get the hive mind emulator. Um, but really, which one you pick depends on basically the last mission. If you, if for the last mission you choose to go against air units, you'll want this one, the Hive Mind Emulator. I won't spoil it, but that's what you'll want. If you choose to go against the ground, you'll want the Side Disruptor. So those are my only, I'm going to go with the Side Disruptor because I'm going to go over versus ground on the last mission. The ground is easier. What the hell, cowboy? You look like crap. You been thinking about that girl again? Kinda. I just got some bad news about what might happen if we can't save her. Ah, no use worrying about what might happen, if you ask me. You want me to help, you just let me know. All right. I don't think we have any, no, we didn't get any credits yet from the Zerg bio samples. You look shaken, sir. What's wrong? Zeratul called it a vision of the future. It was the end times, Matt. Armageddon. More Protoss than we ever knew existed. But there still weren't enough to stop the hybrid. But what about Kerrigan? Wasn't she supposed to stop them? In this timeline, she was dead. Killed by... us. That's what Zeratul's been trying to tell us all along. She has to live, or we're all doomed. Basically, if Kerrigan dies, somebody else gets control of the swarm, I think is what they're trying to tell us. Alright, we have a ton of missions now. Valhalla, that's a fun one. Tirador, uh, that's I think the fourth artifact. Yeah, but we're gonna do this one. We are way too behind on the Meinhof missions. Refugee populations from across the sector have been using Meinhof as a staging point, but with so many people in close proximity, an epidemic of some kind has started sweeping through the camps. Please, my people need help. We've got to do something before it's too late. Easy mission, but it can take you a while. I've never done this with siege tanks before. This will be funny. So what are we looking at, Doc? Our readings indicate some kind of bio infestation is spreading through the refugee camps. Even the buildings are being covered by it. I've seen this kind of thing before. It's a Zerg virus. All we can do is burn it out. Every one of those infested buildings has to be destroyed. But where are all the people? Oh, no. Those things are infested refugees? This is a nightmare. Yeah, this ain't good at all. It looks like they burrow underground by day, 
and emerge only at night. The virus must make them vulnerable to the high UV output of Meinhof Star. Then we'll hit the infested buildings by day and protect our base at night. Don't worry, Doc. We'll contain this thing. Cool little tidbit. Uh, Rainer first fell out of favor with the Confederacy when he destroyed an infested command center. He, They were mad at him for destroying a government uh, institution, basically, like a government building. But he saw it as unsavable, so he just decided to destroy it. He told his men to destroy it. I think that was like the second mission of the Terran the Terran missions campaign in StarCraft 1 obviously not StarCraft 2 Automated refineries What's awesome <laughs> I am so far ahead in units for this mission like uh, unit upgrades. SCV ready. Go ahead. You're gonna want bunkers at each one of these, and eventually down here as well. I want a perimeter set and some bunkers in place now. You going sweet on that doctor lady, Jimmy? Can't see why else we'd keep fighting for these damn dirt farmers. Seconds. They'll attack at both entrances, so you can't just uh, F2 this time. You need to keep your army split. One thing I like to do is put the fire bat right by the bunker, and then just hold position with the medic. They have enough life, at least in the beginning, to withstand the onslaught of what's coming. Ready to fry. Not a problem. All right. Gonna want an engineering bay, then another here. supply depot. Keep building units. Not enough minerals. You're gonna want a lot of them when day breaks. Ugh. Messed up. These guys are pretty easy. I forgot to tell him to hold position. Where are you? One more. Eventually, we'll want two SCVs on each entrance, just to repair. Oh, Jesus, I wish these were attacking me, not the bunker. We'll move them up a little bit, hopefully. That'll grab their attention. I'm not going to build a factory, because eventually Swan will just give us one. Oh man. There we go, good timing. Killed both of my medics. Hellions are basically better fire bats. They're faster, their flame hits a lot farther, and they do the same amount of damage, I think, or more. Let's see. Yep, more damage. So better in every way. Hold 
on a little longer. Additional supply Lots of marines for defense, but also for the part that comes after. I'm gonna take two of these guys, put one here, put one over here. All right. Rise and shine, boys. Gonna put. I want that little path there, just so they're not completely focused. Take everybody, at least for the first night. And just attack move where you see that red square. SCV ready. I'm going. Gonna build siege tanks. This will be fun. Some sort of nest? You better we need to kill it. all of these. And each one will, even uh, the spore crawlers in this mission, will let out those little broodlings, so be ready. Not a problem if you have everybody together, but in the bigger bases, they'll get so spread out they might actually take out a few of your guys. Additional supply depots required. Move it. Looks like this area secure. Keep it up, fellas. Then just attack to the left. Attack move right, right around here. Really anywhere. Now these buildings are all around the map, so as you build up, you'll want to build up your forces, but uh, I like splitting them into two groups, eventually. Do our two upgrades. Just, just we have the minerals, and we're gonna forget later. Nightfall in thirty seconds. All right. Show this better be good. Thirty seconds. Sure thing. Good enough. Even if it becomes night as you're on your way back, it's not a big deal. Unless, of course, you can't through, get through your little entrance way with your siege tank. You should set some guards. They'll be coming again soon. Armed and robot sub. Scans are picking up a unique Zerg biocitizen. It appears to be a burrowing creature that is underground during the day and emerges only at night. Sir, if you kill one of those creatures, Stedman can study it and perhaps learn something. Say the word, baby. Alright. Same thing as before with your fire bat, just put them right here. And then have them hold position right there. The medic, that is. Fill up all your bunkers. Really not gonna be a problem with the siege tanks. It's not even too hard without them, really. start building up our third one it's not gonna show up at least for another night but we might as well get it ready now once I get a big enough force I don't bother taking the units in the bunker bunkers. It would make it go faster, but it's a pain to get everyone back where they're supposed to be. So I'll, I'll leave the bunker people and the siege tanks in place this time around. Build Hellions for uh, going after the buildings. You know, I don't know, the buildings, so you would think that they're heavy armor or armored, but I don't think they are for this mission, at least. Base is under attack.
are just a ton of them out here. There is an achievement for destroying some of the buildings while while it's nighttime, but if you'll see, you go up here and you attack one, they just start spawning them like crazy. Oh my gosh. Whoops. I attacked my own guy. Those guys can't get through because of the siege tank, but that's fine. Don't forget, you have to be back by dark. You know what? This one's actually closer, so we're gonna go here. We'll take you two. You, you four. Upgrade complete. This better be good. You gonna get been waiting on you. Stimpak. Really can't hurt you here. There's no forces except for these. See light armor, but normally I think this would be heavier armor. I'm gonna group these all up. Now for the research. You just want to put your guys there as it's becoming nighttime. You don't got to worry, even if it's turning night, uh, it takes them a second to spawn unless you're not, unless you're attacking their buildings. And even then, they move slow, so you can outrun them with just about every single unit you have. I'm pretty sure every unit you have. Any more infested structures in that sector, Jim. Stand ready. Forty seconds left. Nightfall in thirty seconds. All right, let's move everybody back. This better be good. Can't wait. We're going to just get rid of the Hellion. Now, how many do we need? Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, move them here. Get rid of the three marines we don't need, and then we can do this. Sure thing. Keep your eyes peeled. Perfect. There's gonna be more of them out there. Armed we'll just set these guys over here for now. Maybe make another siege tank for right here. Bad news. Big job. Send him back to work for now. You know what? No, I'm gonna leave him over there. I don't need any more minerals. I've got plenty. I can't build here. This is crazy. We need two more, three more marauders for over there. And I'm, we'll need two tanks because the guys that come down here are. Like, this gets hit by heavier units. Not in number, but in uh, unit type. The units are more hardy. You'll see what I'm talking about when they get here. Some of these guys have ranged, so they're the same ones the investors can build. More tanks and then I'll go for strictly Hellions just to blow up everything else. <laughs> I left some guys up here, they don't even know that they're there. Now, I could build uh, some new side disruptors. Where are they? But 
Not even sure that they would get to it. What? We'll, what? We'll, whatever. We'll just build them just for fun. Yep, here they come. We did that just in time. What is that? Night on night three towards the what end. There's the aberration. Was it human? They can be a bitch to kill if you only have marines out, so. You know, I think I saw this in a movie once. Just mass marines now, just to help us take out the uh, Zerg structures quicker. And tonight, we'll try to get this infester. It looks, it looks like we've got probably two nights left. Make sure I have everybody. Alright. Not you two. For one. We'll bring you guys as well. And then just attack move over here. Make sure you get these lone buildings, because if you miss them, you'll have to come back and get them later. Which is no fun. structures in that sector, Jim. Oh, these two are part of... Hmm. Oh, well. I'll fix that here in a second. I had part of my control groups in each group, so they were just running back and forth. These guys need a medic. I'm just gonna take down this, and that'll probably be the last I can get to with this group. I think this is where the Infestor comes out, so I'm gonna leave this group here. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. There's a ramp up here that you can get to. Now watch out on the bigger vases; they'll have these spine crawlers. Actually, no. I keep forgetting, I need to kill the Infestor over here. Alright, set them over here, and we'll get these guys in their bunkers. Looking good. You should set some guards. They'll be coming again soon. Did I get it? Yep, I got it. Nice. Then we'll just take these guys around the long way. If there's no buildings up here, the they won't spawn from here, but the amount that is spawned doesn't get lower. Can't like wait. They'll just Additional spawn more from these ones play. over here, which is hilarious if you've only got one building left and you try to make that the last building that you want, like uh, for the achievement to kill it at night. Like just a metric shit ton of them will spawn out of that building. It's funny. That's how I tried to do the achievement the first time, and I was not able to kill any of them. <laughs> oh, we need more supply depots. We can build these guys. I've kind of been ignoring it because this mission is so easy. Then more busy setting up my defenses, but uh, we have war pigs, hammer security, and the siege breakers, which are freaking awesome. I'm actually gonna take these with me. I'm not. I'm not gonna leave them here. Let's see. They do 35 versus armored in regular mode. Holy cow! 100 damage. That's insane. How much does this guy do? 140? Nice. Siege tank. 
tank is in the way. Additional supply depots required. That is so weird. I can upgrade ship plating, but I can't upgrade ship weapons. Oh, I think I know why. <laughs> that is so weird. I've never seen these interactions before. Because the only starport thing that I can make are the Hercules transport units, so they can't use the ship uh, weapon upgrade. <laughs> That's funny. Aren't even getting close anymore with the siege tanks. Let's take him out there. Destroy everyone. And yes, this is still unbrutal. This is just an easy mission, especially compared to the last one. Okay. Let's find some infested areas. You know what? We're gonna leave these here for now. We're gonna start using this group. Now remember, these ones are gonna have spine crawlers and spore, cra spore colonies. Hopefully get this mostly taken out before the fifth night. That group can die because I'm, I'm gonna sacrifice them to get the infester tonight. All right, once I get this, I'm gonna go back. I'm not detecting any more infested structures. Send in that these guys up here. Hopefully, there's no spore colony that I or spore crawler that I can't get by. Spine That's crawler. Fine. I keep getting those two mixed up. Sure. We'll do. Where is it? Did I get it wrong? Keep your eyes peeled. Gonna be more of a mouth the heck is it? I'm on ah. It Get took a while to come up. That that was the problem. Wait. Oh well. We'll get it next night. You gonna give me orders? By the numbers, boys. Just gonna send these guys over sure. here. Because we're not gonna sure get as many thing. or if any infested up here. Because they're all gonna be funneling into this gate. Speak up! Tomorrow night we'll kill everything except for one building and then wait for the infester. It's got 37 structures remaining. Completely out of minerals. Screw it, we'll turn it into a planetary fortress, why not? Show you how good it is. Now, 
reason why I like Planetary Fortresses, see they do 40 damage, that's decent. Anyway, it's because they've got 1500 hit points and I can set them like in here, like to block it. And now with three or four SCVs on the other side of this repairing it, there's nothing that can kill it without taking out the SCVs first. But because it's so big and fat, there aren't that many units that can get around to actually hit the SCVs. So, uh, the first time I was going through this game on Brutal, I, had, I looked up a strategy for, I tried the last mission a couple times, and I was having a rough time with it. Uh, now I think it's a lot easier, but that obviously comes with practice. But uh, that was one of the strategies that most people employ, is just to stick planetary fortress or two or three right in the way and have SCVs on the other side and siege tanks backing them up. You know what? Let's uh... We're gonna take my guys and start out early. We need to kill 32, 36 structures in one go. Any more infested structures in that sector, Jim? I even have a medic. Yep, I've got one, so we're good. I can use stim packs. Go, go, go. This is where the infester comes out. I just didn't wait long enough last time. Now I'm gonna leave that building there. That way I can kill the infester and then just immediately end it. Got it. Set these bad boys up in siege mode. Once the other guys don't take it down before they have a chance to shoot, that's the problem. They're almost done. There's just a handful of infested bio signs left. I'll highlight their locations on the map. Two left. Alright, let's get set up for this. Do not accidentally shoot <laughs> the last one there. I should be able to take it out. I, I'm pretty confident I can take out that building. Even if a bunch of guys come out of it. Yes, sir. Nighttime, where are you? Where are you? You should set some guards. They'll no. be coming again soon. Okay, kill it. <laughs> there should be more coming out, I would think. Oh well. Not bad. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Now I've got to get my people somewhere safe. Ain't gonna be so easy, darling. This whole sector's crawling with Zerg. There's gotta be somewhere out there the aliens haven't touched. Some undiscovered paradise waiting just for us. I doubt it. <laughs> that is the magic of high levels of technology and improvement, improved units versus early on missions. They were just not ready for my siege tank. That's what the problem was. All right. Uh, 28 minutes later, complete the outbreak mission on normal di difficulty before the fifth night. We did not make that. We got the sixth night. Uh, army of... But I think we, we did that on purpose, I think. 
Or no? No, I think we were actually just a day too late. Uh, Army of Darkness destroy 15 infested structures at nighttime in the Outbreak mission on hard difficulty. It's pretty doable as you saw. Like a lot of units did come out, but not anywhere near as many as I thought. But, oh well. Alright, please leave a like or comment below and feel free to subscribe for more full Let's Plays like this one. And that's my mama.